أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين رب الشرح لي صدري ويسل لي أمني وحل الوقت ذنب اللساني يفقه قولي الحمد لله الله سبحانه وتعالى gave us the opportunity to be listening to this program through this program I would like to share some uh, knowledge alhamdulillah um, doing worship is a hardship for a lot of Muslims all over the world today anything we do in our lifetime if we engage ourselves in, on anything that we sh- there are certain rules we have to know the rules before we do the things that's why through this program I would like to share whatever the rules alhamdulillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly commanded us to the Quran or indirectly through our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by doing through his actions. So through this program, last in last episode, I, Alhamdulillah, I d- described about the women's aura, what the dress women should wear during the Salah. So today, my lecture would be, inshallah, on men's aura. How, what should men wear and how should wear and uh, inshallah, hoping to get benefit through this program myself and whoever watching you inshallah. So before we go um, to men's hour again, I would like to review a, one more time about the aura. What is aura? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran, Surah Al An'am, ayat number 103, O children of Adam, take your adornment at every masjid. So whenever we go to masjid, we have to make sure we are wearing the proper clothes and we, or whenever we do prayer, salah, we have to make sure we have proper clothing and we have to try our best to have the best um, clothing we have, the most clean and um, um, the best one, inshallah. So what is aura means? The literal meaning is deficiency or something disliked. And the legal meaning is what is prohibited to uncover of the body. So that means our private parts. But in Islam, aura is for the man is, is a different one. What does it say? We have to follow the guidelines of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, do not look towards what is below the navel and above the knee. So we have to make sure that that part is always covered so during Salah or during our normal life. So what are this area is below the belly button and to the knee. So this is the, the main thing about the man's aura. And another hadith is came, no one of you should pray in a single garment with nothing on his shoulder. Now let's see how we reconcile these two things. It says aura means between the belly button and the knee. And then again, another hadith says you have to cover also shoulder. Then let's see what happened when Jabir ibn Abdullah came to our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it says, we asked Jabir ibn Abdullah about praying in a single garment. And he said, I went out with the Prophet on one of his journey and came at night for some purpose. I found him praying and I was wearing a single garment. I wrapped myself in it and prayed beside him. When he has finished, he said, what is this walking at night, O Jabir? I told him of my need and when I had finished, he said, what is that wrapping what I see? I said, it is too small. He said, if it is large enough, wrap it around the body. And if it is too small, tie it around your waist. That means if the, that means only wrapping something around the waist is permissible. So what we found of this, this, the aura of a man when they pray in Salah, or without salah, it has to be if you wrap around the clothes and it's covering from your belly button 
to the knee is okay. You don't have to worry about that's that's the forest that we have to follow that and putting something on the shoulder or covering the other body parts is the recommended is sunnah so in salah we have to make sure that part is always covered and never get un uncovered what happens if someone does it intentionally it breaks the salah so he cannot he cannot move that portion from that portion any any clothes intentionally that will break the salah but if it is out of ignorance then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept it inshallah so we have to what we see around us there are some people they go to pray they wear the pants and then they wear the t-shirt and sometimes when they go for ruku when and then go for, or go for sujood what happened it moves and sometimes you can see their body parts below the um, belly button so you have to make sure it does not get uncovered when you do your actions during the salah so this is very important so so the, the condition of salah is the as we described before is the facing the qibla time of prayer and clothing so this is very important so we have to follow the guidelines of the our prophet Muhammad sallam the way he say so another thing is we are wearing clothes all the time so some people wearing the long pants and the long pants is how far we should put our pants down that is when we are the we should not cover the ankle joint most of the scholars the sohi scholar they say you should not wear your garments below the ankle but uh, Abu Bakr one day he was wearing and then he uh, he was asking Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because he was listening the hadith from Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he says if you wear your clothes under your ankle joint Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will not look at you on the day of judgment so then he asked what happened as I'm wearing and he said as long as you're not arrogant then you'll not be in that group inshallah so we cannot have the arrogancy and we cannot do is regular basis all the time that okay i'm going to do it I, I don't care so we have to be submissive and we have to do properly our clothes what are the other conditions of those our clothing it should not be see-through people should not be able to see our body parts through that some people wearing so thin then it, it, it it's like transparent you can see everything or should not be too tight that is exposing your body parts you can even recognize from outside that's uh, what you you know your body parts so this is very important it has to be loose fitting and it cannot be see-through and it should be able to cover all the time from the belly button to the knee now it says when it says belly button to the knee when you talk about like hillside avenue to jamaica avenue it doesn't mean that it has to be included the hillside avenue or jamaica avenue is in between so if someone is wearing the clothes just below the belly button and then just above the knee is is acceptable inshallah but when we make the suju the ruku it goes more up we have to be careful about that may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the fig to follow the rules of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we are supposed to worship and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give the ability to all the time uh, proper way inshallah subhanaka allahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh